Hello, grade three, four. I hope you had a wonderful weekend. Today, we are going to focus on decimals. And decimals actually connect to fractions. And you guys are experts on fractions right now. So we are going to try some decimals. And the key thing to remember is that fractions are just a piece of a whole. And that's the exact same as decimals. It's a piece of a whole and decimals can be the exact same as fractions. So we're gonna check it out together here. Follow along with me. Here we go. I'm starting with my fraction here. And so I have seven tenths. This bottom 10 is my denominator. The top seven is my numerator. The bottom piece is how many parts I have to my whole. So over here is my whole rectangle and I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten pieces to it, and one, two, three, four, five, six, seven are shaded in. So seven becomes my top numerator of how many pieces I have. Ten is the pieces of the whole all together, so it becomes seven tenths. I can also say seven tenths this way. Zero decimal seven can be said as seven tenths. So seven tenths, seven tenths, they are the exact same. They're just written differently. Seven tenths here means the same as this picture, means the same as this fraction. I'm gonna show you the zero in front is my ones place. And there's a zero there because if you look up here, I don't have a complete whole. I only have part of it. So that's why there's a zero in the ones place. This dot over here is what's called the decimal. And then behind the decimal, this magic seven here is what's called the tenths place. So zero decimal seven or zero decimal seven tenths. It's the same as seven tenths in a fraction. It's just written in a different way. And we add a fancy dancy decimal. So over here, I'm gonna start with a decimal. Take a minute. Do you think you can say it? Here's our ones place. Remember, we're a part of a whole, we're not a whole. So in the ones place, we have zero. This dot is a fancy dancy decimal. And in this place behind the decimal is my tenths place. So I can say this as zero decimal two or two tenths. And it looks like this as a fraction two tenths. I can show it as a picture. My whole has 10 pieces all together and only two pieces are colored in. So we're gonna look at some decimal and fraction strips to help us. So this first one is blank and it shows tens. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. All 10 pieces together, that represents my 10 at the bottom of my fraction, and it represents this tenths place. So I have 10, each piece is worth one here, and there's 10 pieces together. And on my next strip, I have some that are shaded in. So I have 10 all together, because I'm in the tenths, and I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven blue guys shaded in. So if I just put this over top here, it connects to what's going on on this sheet of paper. Seven tenths goes seven over 10 or in decimal form, zero decimal seven. I have my ones place as a zero because I only have part of this whole. I have a decimal and a seven, seven tenths. It's just a different way to write this fraction over here. The next one I have over here has all my tens, I'm at a 10, and I have some green shaded in. I have one, two, three, four pieces shaded in. So take a minute, what do you think that's going to look like as a decimal? You can pause the video, try to figure it out, and then press play again. I'm gonna turn this guy upside down, and I'm gonna show you the answer. So putting my fraction decimal strip at the top of the page, I realize I have 10 pieces all together and one, two, three, four tenths are shaded in. To write that, 
going to be because we're dealing with in the tenths place it's four tenths on the strip I have four tenths and I'm writing it in a decimal form last example I have for you is another fraction decimal strip so remember fractions and decimals they're the same and they're representing parts or pieces of a whole. We don't exactly have a full whole. So again, 10 pieces all together. I'm in my tenths place, but this time I only have two tenths colored in. So that gives me zero decimal two or two tenths. If I have two tenths written as a decimal, I can change it to a fraction so it looks like 2 over 10. And that's exactly what I have on my fraction sheet here. Two pieces out of 10. 2 over 10 or 0 decimal 2, 2 tenths. If I have 4 tenths, I can change that into a fraction by writing 4 over 10. 10 is my place I'm looking at, and I have four pieces of it. This place here where my four is, it's called the tenths place with the th. Here is my ones. And that guy, fancy guy, is a decimal. And we're focusing on the tenths place. Say it with me, grade three, four, tenths. Those are the decimals we're working on in the tenths tenths place. So try it at home. I have some worksheets you can try. You don't need to print them. You can just record your answers just like I have mine here. So go give it a try. Have some fun and I'll see you later.